What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and uh, today I've got a story time for y'all that was sent in by a subscriber about them having to deal with the Karen at their job. And uh, honestly, it was pretty hilarious because I'm gonna be honest, this might be the dumbest Karen I've ever heard of. I've heard a lot of Karen stories, but let's just say this lady had a complaint about her fridge and couldn't keep her cool. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But yeah, it should be a pretty good story time. Before we get into it, though, be sure to press the like button or no joke, no scam. Tomorrow, you will be yelled at to the point where someone cries to your manager like a therapist. You don't want that to happen, so uh, press the like button. And without further ado, let's go. I'm getting quiet now. All right, guys, so as I said, this story time was sent in by somebody, and I'm not going to expose exactly where they work at, but in order for the story to make sense, I kind of have to expose where they work at. And uh, it's an electronics store that some people would say is the best place to buy your electronics. There you go. Clap, clap for my uh, ability to keep that a secret. Regardless, this person has to deal with a lot of, like, delivering of appliances. Whenever you order something from this place, buy something there, and it needs to get delivered to your house and installed and whatnot, this is the guy who comes there and does it. And because of that, he's been to a lot of houses. He's installed a lot of fridges, he's put a lot of sound systems together, he's had to just deal with a lot of people having stuff installed in their homes. And one thing that he said is the Karen he encounters here are like the absolute worst. Because it's the type of people that have spent a lot of money on something they probably don't need. Like, obviously you need a fridge, you need a dishwasher, but when it's like a $40,000 sound system, it's somebody who's got a lot of money to blow on stuff they don't need, and they're very particular about the way that they want things done. And because of that, they just tend to be very good at dealing with these types of people, just making it work out so the job can get done, everyone gets paid, everyone's happy. On this particular day, though, they get an order that they're going to be delivering two fridges to this house. And they look at the address, and when you're a delivery driver, you kind of start to learn, like, the areas, I guess. I've never been one, but he's telling me that, like, they realize that the address is in this gated community where, you know, people have two fridges in their houses that are brand new when they move in. And, like, it tends to be an area where there's a, a high chance of dealing with a Karen or a Bob. That's what he calls a male Karen. Just people who are going to scream at you and talk to your manager and whatnot. So they go, they get the two fridges, of course. They're like really nice top-of-the-line fridges. So whenever there's a situation like this, one thing that they're required to do there is take pictures of everything all wrapped with no scratches and everything to be like, hey, if it's scratched or there's something wrong with it, it wasn't us in the truck. You did something once it was your property. Because, of course, they'll try to, like, get a free fridge out of it or whatever. So they load up everything and they go to this house and they pull up to this lady's house and it's a massive house as they expected and out walks this lady who looks a little bit uh, eclectic, eccentric, I guess you could say. She's wearing some questionable things. She has like a cheetah print pants on with a tiger print shirt and in her hair is literally like, you know how some people at times put feathers in their hair? She has like a full bird, like a taxidermied bird in her hair, like spreading its wings. So obviously they're, they're kind of caught off guard by the way this lady appears, you know, and don't judge a book by its cover. But they get the idea that this my lady might be a little bit of a, of a wackadoodle. So she walks up. She goes, do you guys have my two fridges? And they say yes. And she demands to see them on the truck. You know, don't unload them until I look at them. Don't unload them until I look at them. So she gets in the truck and she, like, sees the fridges, right? And she looks at them and she's kind of evaluating them, turning them, like, having the people turn them so she can look at them. She sniffs the wrap at one point just to make sure it smells new. At one point, she has them unwrap the handle of the fridge and she licks it to make sure that it tastes like fresh stainless steel and not a different metal. So they're kind of like, all right, our suspicions weren't wrong. This lady's just a little bit out there and there's nothing wrong with that. Clearly, whatever she does, she does very well for herself, so... You know, if she can afford two fridges, it's not his question to ask what they believe. It's just his job to drop off the fridge. So they go in and they put in the fridges and they plug them in and she opens it up. And one of the first things she says is, why aren't these fridges cold? Why aren't these fridges cold? And obviously the workers kind of look at her weird and kind of like are, you know, don't really know what to say. Because for those of you that don't know, refrigerators just aren't like always cold. You, you have to plug them in. They have to have power. They have to have some time to, you know, cool down. It's not like there's literally some wizard that casts a spell on this metal box and it's just always 30 degrees inside. 
So the workers kind of explain, well, you know, uh, obviously it's going to take a little bit for the fridge to cool down, but it'll take about two hours, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, well, I don't know what you expect me to do with all this food then. And she points and she has all these frozen items there. And she said, I wanted the fridge delivered at this time so I could put my groceries away. And the workers are kind of like, okay, well, I don't know what to tell you because fridges have to turn on and work. We don't keep the fridges plugged in when they're not installed. They've been in the back of a truck. It's the middle of the summer. Obviously, the fridges are, are going to get hot. I don't really know what to do. And she starts saying that they're responsible for all the food that's going to spoil. And there's so many starving kids in this world. And, you know, they have that on their hands. They need to sleep at night knowing that they ruined food that a family could have eaten. And now there's kids hungry because of them. And they don't really know what to do because truthfully, it's like, okay, I guess you're mad at us for not pre-cooling your fridge. But why, why in the world would we do that? Like, that's just not something that people do, dude. Like, imagine them installing a TV and you being annoyed that they didn't pre-log into your Netflix account for you. Like, basically the same situation here. So she's yelling at them and she starts saying that she's going to refuse to sign for the delivery or pay until they, like, fix this somehow. So, obviously, they're kind of like, well, this isn't good. The guy in charge of the delivery, the person who sent this in is just kind of like one of the delivery guys, goes out to call the store and ask what to do. And he goes out there with him and he's listening to the phone call and he has the manager on speaker and the manager picks up and he's like, all right, we got a problem. The person's not going to sign. Well, why? She's really mad that the fridge didn't come pre-cooled. And the manager on the other end is like silent and goes, are you messing with me? Like, is it April Fool's Day? Like, are you guys kidding? And he's like, no, she just refuses to sign. She's like getting really mad that we didn't pre-cool the fridge because she bought all this frozen food to be delivered right when we got here. Or a little bit before. Like, we don't know. There's frozen food. She's mad that's going to go bad because we didn't deliver the fridge when pre-cooled. And the store manager is kind of like, I have you told her that that's not how fridges get delivered? Like, did you tell her that they cooled down? Like, did you explain the situation? And he goes, yeah, I explained the situation. She didn't seem to really care or understand or like, doesn't matter. Like, it didn't matter. And now she's refusing to sign. So the Best Buy manager is like, okay, well, let me talk to her. So he goes back in with his manager on the phone and he starts talking to the lady. And the lady says that she wants one of the fridges for free because she expected it pre-cooled. And now her dinner guests that are coming tonight aren't going to have a good meal and it's his fault. And the manager, you know, is one of the managers that tends to just kind of be like, oh, okay, okay. Like, it's not a strong manager, you know. So he's instantly like, ma'am, I'm so sorry for my deliveries, uh, you know, the incompetence of my drivers, just starts selling out the delivery driver. And she kind of starts to be like, that's what I thought, like, I know there's protocol for these types of things. And at that point, the delivery manager is like, ma'am, he's lying to you right now. We just were talking out there. This is not a normal thing. This is bizarre, to say the least. And the manager is like, that's not true, kind of on the phone trying to cut him off. And then the Karen's like, I don't know. I think you might want to be quiet because your job seems to be on the line. And at that point, it was like the delivery manager had just had enough, bro. I don't know if he had just been yelled at by Karens too many times or like the boss had pretended to have his back gotten in front of the customer and then reamed him out. But he's like, you know what? I quit. I'm done. You guys figure it out. Fridges don't come pre-cooled. You're stupid. I don't know how you have so much money. And you know what? I'm out of here. You guys can uh, pick me up if you want and take me back to the store or I'll Uber, but I quit. And he took off his like shirt because they have these delivery shirts. And he just walks out of the lady's house. And before he does it, he grabs the phone, tells the manager to F off and hangs up. And at that point, the Karen is kind of like out of control of the situation. So she starts running after him saying that this is all his fault and he just lost his job. And she like grabs his arm to pull him back. And he just goes, lady, I quit. I quit. Fridges don't come pre-cooled. I don't work for them anymore. I don't know what to tell you. And literally just started walking off the job site, just left. And the person who sent this in, you know, wasn't in a position where they could really just walk off their job like that. So he calls the manager and they kind of work it out. The lady ends up signing for the fridges. I think she was so embarrassed by the fact that the guy just quit and walked off that she just decided to pay. And here's the thing, fridges don't come pre-cooled, but like, if you're obviously buying $40,000 in fridges, you got the money to pay for it. It's kind of lame to go be begging for a free one. Like, everyone wants to act baller, right? Oh, buying all the top-line equipment. But, like, you know what's really baller? Not trying to beg for stuff for free, bro. Regardless, the Karen decides to sign for stuff, and then she starts trying to, like, apologize on the phone, you know, and trying to make the guy who quit seem, like, crazy unreasonable. Like, can you believe he would do that to the people that are still there? 
All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen now, you will see a gift card code. For those of you that don't know, I give away a gift card in every single story time I tell here on this channel as a way to say thank you to you guys for being subscribed and having on those notifications. So if you don't already, turn them on. I would appreciate it. And, of course, if you already do, then you're a legend, and I'll shut up and get back to the video. Thanks. Anyways, everybody's just trying to get out of there, get the delivery done, so they're just kind of like, yeah, whatever, yeah, 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 so they sign off, they go. Anyways, the next day, the person who sends this in comes into work, and his manager comes over and says that, like, what are they thinking, da 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 da, -da. they delivered the wrong fridges to that lady's house, blah, 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 and he's like, we definitely did not deliver the wrong fridges, that's the one that the manager walked off the site of, remember, because you were on the phone with him, and he's like, oh, this is the same lady? And he goes, yeah. Well, apparently she had called the store the next morning and said that they delivered the wrong shade stainless steel fridge to them. It was not the one that she had seen in the store. Well, this lady apparently didn't realize that that was the only model of stainless steel fridge that this particular company had, so it had to have been the same color, and she demanded a replacement. So they literally boxed the same fridges, like a different set, not the exact same ones up, took it to her house, swapped them and then she was happy with it and said now these are the ones that i saw in store these ones are right so like that was the type of lady she was she really needed to get the last word the fact that somebody walked out and embarrassed her in front of everybody meant that like she had to come back and get some comeuppance on this electronic store somehow and like make them come make it right so she literally just pretended that it was the wrong stainless steel and i don't think they really told her that it was the exact same fridge probably because it just wasn't worth dealing with it but yeah, this lady is the ultimate Karen, bro. I really want to know what's up with the bird in her hair, too, dude. Like, if there was somebody I could get a backstory on from a story time somebody sent me, it's the lady that wears a dead taxidermied bird as, like, an accessory. Oh, that's just Polly the Parrot. Me and her went way back when I would defeat Scurvy in the Caribbean. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, I'd really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button and uh, letting me know in the comments section down below what you thought of the video. I'd really, really appreciate it. Of course, other than that, if you want to support me, you can check out the intro song down down below along with the link to my podcast the scuffed cast use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout if you want a discount on g fuel and to help me out and last but certainly not least if you take a look at your screen now you will see the coolest merch to ever exist on the history of the planet which can be yours by taking a trip down to the description and getting it but uh yeah on that note guys that'll do it don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace